First stop in his hometown, Zhou Shen is here to visit his childhood trauma, the famous monkeys in Qianling Mountain. You're climbing so clumsily. Farm owner Yi Yen realizes that her daughter is becoming like the Monkey King. Bei Yi, who once drove his van to Rome, is a famous man in Gian. He's just got a flash marriage and is settling down in Gian. A city emerging from a primitive forest. The center of big data in China. An underrated city of delicacies. Mao Tai, hot sauce, and chameleon plant are a low key carnival gifted to this city. Square dancing is the nightlife in Wagwoyan, the number one real estate in Asia. Even young artists wouldn't dare to go because they would be addicted to it once they start dancing. I in the morning, this is the world of lushing dance. For a thousand years, ethnic minorities in Guizhou welcome their friends with music and wine. Shake your shoulders. What is this? Try our homebrewed rice wine. I can't drink. Just a little. One shot, one shot. One shot, one shot. No, thanks. Their wildness and enthusiasm are hidden under their calmness. This is the taste of Giang. Jiaxiao building is where hipsters have gatherings since Ming Dynasty. So comfortable. The prettiest landmark by Giang's Nanming River. Like the well-known song of Giang sings, Cool Giang. I think everyone in Giang knows how to sing that song, I guess. Why don't we ask a pedestrian later to see if he can sing it? Hello, do you know how to sing Cool Giang? I don't know. I was wrong. Have you heard of the song Cool Giang? In order to introduce Giang, this interesting city, to more people, Zhou Shen begins his special journey. Hello, may I know who you are? So disgusting. Do you know how to sing Cool Giang? What are you doing? Do you know how to sing it? I only know that two line. Just sing it. Ready, go. That's all. You even warbled on so pretentious. Let's eat together later. No. She refused. Okay, bye. I'll find someone else. <laughs> Did you see it? Everyone knows it. Joshin called his high school seniors. Wow, what a coincidence. Three of them are best friends. They make fun of each other once they meet. Why did you embarrass yourself? Were you embarrassed? Why are you hitting me? Let's grab something to eat. Such heavy makeup. I'm telling you, come here. Come here and I'll take a picture of you with my phone. Are you still my friends? I'm telling you that I'm not good at driving. Really? Prepare yourself. Come on, sir. Where do you want to go? Unlicensed driver. Where are you going, sir? Look at the angle of the seat. What do you mean? Does her seat make sense? They will repeat the route they used to take late at night. This place hasn't changed. This is how I remember Giyang. This weekend, Bei Yi is driving his wife and father to Yachi River for an outing. The city is close to the nature. Giyang is known as a city of a thousand parks. There are dozens of forest parks. To people in Giyang, the faraway tourist sites to others are the common places for them to fish and camp at weekends. These are a part of their lives. To a real traveler, this is how you should play in Giyang. Can I step on this slowly? Just jump in straight away. You can feel a ridge once you come down. The water here is clear. I swim after I wake up every morning. It's like a gorge. You can't handle it anymore? There's a hole. Does this help? Yes. Like fishing toads. From Giang to Rome, Bei Yi lived on the road. Settling down in a city is more like a trip to him. He, who can't stop, has held a few camping music festival. He hopes to make his hometown more interesting. Actually, I know. That many people don't think I'm from Giang. 
But, no one. Love this place like I do. Welcome to the backyard of Gien, Yachi River. Everyone has his or her own life. You might not think so. My friend in Rome once asked me, how big is Giang, I said. It's as big as Rome. They said, okay. Giang can't be as big as Rome. I missed the nights in the factories when I was young too. Because they were small. People who always look at the moon wouldn't think the moon is beautiful. Just like people who live by the seaside. Wouldn't think that the sea is pretty. People who live by a sea want to visit mountains. But, people who live on a mountain look forward to seas. What about people who can't see both? Such a pity. They live in a desert. People who can't see a mountain know a sea live in a desert, that desert is a sea. The city is surrounded by mountains. The land of nature has a special meaning to everyone in Giang. When the farm owner Yen opens the door of a solution cave, it's like opening a magic door to all the treasures. To tourists, a karst solution cave is a landmark. To Yen who makes sour soup, a solution cave has constant temperature and can preserve moisture. It's suitable for the fermentation of sour soup. It's a free place to store her soup best. Fish in sour soup has been introduced to the whole country. Hence, foodies have got to have a taste of the sour soup. Salt was not produced in ancient Guizhou, so they had to replace it with sourness. As the old saying goes, you wobble without having sour food for three days. Sour food is more than a delicacy, it was once the source of energy for Guizhou people. Giang people like to explore and create new delicacies. Dot a bowl of Changwan noodle for breakfast. Dinner at a barbecue stall under the city gate. I and the remaining times, they fill their stomach with all kinds of snacks. Chameleon plant, a nightmare for outsiders, but Giang people's favorite. Suishou, the best side dish of Giang's delicacies. Today, Yi Yen came to the city to look for her e-commerce team to promote her sour soup products. The storm of delicacies next time might be a roller coaster on your taste bud. Lesser, okay, lesser. I think it's enough. I think everyone around me is a chef, except me. You're in charge of producing what a chef needs. All I know is eating. Shall I put more chili in it? Okay, here. I'll do it. Here you go. I'll do it. I guess this is how it is sold in Giang's markets. I think sour soup without litzy is. Soulless. Agreed, soulless. So, which one give the weird taste, the chameleon plant or the litzy? Chameleon plant. None of them does, I think that they're very good. Howie Duo released a yogurt with chameleon plant flavor. Yes. I even registered for it. Let's have some beer then. Great. Zue Zue has sour soup beer. Yeah, I do. Beer made of sour soup. No, I think it's really cool. Today is a battle of sour soup. Battle of sour soup. I think we can make a strong tasted beer like stout using red sour soup. Sour soup beer, chameleon plant yogurt. To Giang people, the weirder the taste, the better. You can try the rice wine from our farm that we brewed this last year that we are all alcoholic that we brew it by ourselves and drink it all that we brewed about 500 kilograms. My mother said, what are you thinking? There was once my father and I steamed glutinous rice in our farm every day. Almost every family in Giang brews their own wine and make their own sour soup, wine and sour soup, none can be left out. We said it last time, sour soup should represent the taste of Guizhou. This is interesting. Hello, how do I go to Tianko Niazue? Leaving out the crowded night market in Qingyun Road, local foodies would visit barbecue stalls hidden in the old town. Since the shop is hidden deep, Zhou Shen's friends bet that he can't find the shop even with a GPS because he has no sense of direction. Oh, we're here. Giang people dip everything into their sauce. The sauce is filled with flavors that you wouldn't expect. It might make you get addicted to it, but it can also give you a headache. There was once when I browsing Weibo, I saw you changing your profile picture. You told your precious fans. Leave me alone. Stop caring about me. It was so funny. And when you were singing, your female fan shouted, Zhou Shen, take me with you. And you said, are you a package? This is really. You're so annoying. 
The teachers in my school said you were so smart. I think these are Giang people. Now, when people call me Teacher Zhoushen, I feel very uncomfortable. Yes. But... Maybe they don't know how to address you. I've kept stopping them, but they keep doing that. Then, it gets very awkward, so, after I stop them... Just forget it. All right, you can call me whatever you want. Yes. Then, we will call you Doggy. Actually, I might be more popular if I'm called Doggy. Whenever we gather around, we would start making fun of each other right away. So, once we meet... Why? This is how we interact normally. When we went to the Hmong village, the thousand household Hmong villages, when we were on the train. Enough. When we were on the train, we were like, what are you doing? Shouting crazily. Then, I saw a post on Weibo. I saw, Zhou Shen. On a train today. He was so noisy. They looked really happy. But, they were really noisy. We are like this. Since that incident, we were like, wow. Because at that time, they forgot that I had become a singer. And, it was really awkward. When we met a group of uncles and aunties. They dragged me to a corner. And said, sing for us, sing for us. You have to sing for us. My friends. Left. No, we didn't leave. They were watching beside me. We were watching beside you. They were beside me. And said, just sing it. Then, I stood among them and sang. What was the song? Was it Azalea? I forgot it. I was facing the thousand household Hmong villages, it was very pretty. But, I was there singing. Late at night. I performed there. Let me tell you. But, because of that, we realized that I had debuted. Actually, all of us, I don't know about you, but we have changed our mindset since then that we coped with it for a period of time and we thought that, yes. When we're out. At least when we're out, we should be more careful. Because I don't know, it's very difficult to make friends with colleagues. I think that's a big problem for all working people. IT seems like when you start working, you would stop making more friends. It's really hard to make a new friend. Like in Giang, I only contact a limited number of people. I think understanding each other is our biggest motivation of maintaining our friendships. Are you serious? I'm serious because there isn't any stress. This kind of friendship is quite precious. We are not the people who need to chat online frequently. But, at special times, I might feel like complaining about something to them. I might not. Sometimes, I'm not complaining and expecting their response, like they would say, you are getting better, but do you feel more stressful? But, they were not asking me to complain, what they meant was, if you really have no one to complain to, you can come to us, they would say something like that from time to time, yes, but, obviously, I don't need them. No. Let's get the bill. I'm not a person who likes to tell. What did that ending pose mean? I'm not a person who likes to tell my stress to others, even two years ago when I was so depressed, in the outside, I was like, ha ha ha, but I settled everything by myself when I got home. Come one. Don't just drink. From this meal, we realize the specialty of gay young people. How can I say it? Say it. How can I describe it? Playful. It's not enough to describe us as playful. Playful is not enough to describe us. Gay young people is really annoying, like they're good at bad mouthing, but they are. They are very nice. Very good at bad mouthing in a humorous, nice, annoying way. These are the characters of gay young people. So you're like that too. I'm sorry. You're too pretentious. Did you see it? This is what gay young people are like. Really, when we were talking, I realized that this is how gay young people are. What else about gay young people? Then, you shall follow us along our exploration. Oh, my god. This is about 30 degrees Celsius. He once drove to Rome in a van and drove along the entire coastline of China. Bei Yi from the Xiaheking mining area is a famous cool guy in Giang's artistic circle. On the road, his van gathers the crowd. In Giang, Bei Yi wants to open an European flea market and gather the interesting young people in Giang together. Everyone, come here. Now, it's time to bid in the underground style. The reserve price of this notebook is 50 yuan. Let me see your hands, 50. Great, bidding starts. Anyone? Alright, the second thing for auction today. Woo, are you here? The genes of Boya people flow within Bei Yi. 
the friends who he encountered on his trip connect him to the world. Today, his friends are coming to his house for a meal. Bei Yi's mother died of a car accident soon after he got married. With the happiness and sadness, they form a new family of three. Li Chan Wan, thank you for your food. Bei Yi, the celebrity in Giang. He's outdated. I forgot to say that he's outdated. He drove from Xiaoha to Rome. He drove there. In a Chen and Jixing. Then, I started to think about this. How much do you need? How much do you need? Previously, I kept thinking that I needed a lot. I needed to reach some status. Before I started to pursue what I'm interested in. But, many people have compromised. We always think that we need a lot to do what we like. But, Bei Yi didn't wait for it. He lives the way we want without a second thought. This is a consolation, an excuse. His life. What he wants to live is. Depends on himself. We were at the castle near Baihua Lake. The view that day was really pretty. The sun was setting and the lake was sparkling. We started talking in the abandoned castle. We discussed about. We went straight to the point and talked about death. It was very weird. Normally, this topic, I wouldn't want to. I never wanted to talk about this with him. He said, if one day, I leave before you, if I get caught in an accident on my journey and lose my life, I hope that you won't be sad for even just a minute because since you brought me to this world, I, I can say from the bottom of my heart that I have never idled one day of my life away. I said the same to him. I said, if one day, at any time, I pass away, don't be sad because I'm very happy too. So, when his mother passed away. After his mother passed away, Bei Yi drove his family and friends to Hainan and found a sea with the cleanest water. He poured his mother's ashes into the sea. At night, they partied and danced. They commemorated her death in a different way. Any parents would be proud of having a son like this. He said that he would take care of this world, this family. Bei Yi gathers the people in the city. Yi Yen escapes from the crowd and goes back to the countryside. Giang people build their own empire among the city and the nature. Yi Shu Xian, would you like to pluck some for us? I want to play. You want to play? This farm is the main part of Yi Yan's life. This is a life that many people in the city yearn for. Wow, you're great. Bug. That's an earthworm. Can you wash the vegetables, Yi Shu Xian? During the holidays, these two children stay in this farm. Dot, they're not willing to return to the city. We can go and catch the chicken. So basically, this place is the world of these four women, just like the well-known Lao Gan Ma who produces chili sauce. Women build half of Giang. Done. Got it. They are very smart that I'll catch a yellow one later. Everyone in the city wishes to own a farm. Come on, eat this. But the real lifestyle in the countryside is a drama of four ladies surrounded by all kinds of mess. I want to cry. He never pays for his kids' expenses. I reminded him for two months that he told me, he said, 2500 yuan is too much for two kids. He asked me to show him our bills that I said, you can file a lawsuit against me and change our divorce settlement. Behind her beautiful dream of the countryside, her life is as messed up as ours. She has to make a living and face difficulties in her life like us. No one's life is easy.
My mother is from the countryside. So I like soil very much. I like them since young. When Yang Yi Yen was young. She called me Sister Fun. And called her father brother Guang. My two granddaughters. Often call their grandfather Yang Ling Guang. And call me. Hu Jia Fun. My daughter is starting a business. So she suffers more. We are also helping her. She's really. She's a very tough girl. Very tough. Marriage problems. No comment. She's taking care of two children. I feel a little angry. We don't have to talk about this, it's obvious. Although she doesn't express herself, Ms. Hu always supports her daughter quietly by her side. Whenever Yi Yen holds an event in the city, Ms. Hu would follow her. You might think that Bei Yi is an unemployed traveler. But, in reality, he's a geography teacher in a private middle school. So far, his main task is to design routes for study tours. Experiencing a different life can broaden one's mind. This is his idea of teaching on the road. Sit closer. Only people of our dorm and the resident students are here. Comparing these two. A video and a radio. What do you feel? And why? Everyone has to find a way to express his or her idea. I hope to become independent from my parents as soon as possible, grow up faster, and become independent from my parents, learn more, and come back. Do what I should do. This is what everyone would experience at a certain stage. One thing. I don't think leaving your parents conflicts with your love for them. Yes, you have to remember that. Don't. Leave them when you hate them. That would be bad. Right? I don't feel that way. I just wanted to share with you that everyone has a period of time where they want to leave their parents. Because we have lived at home for such a long time. Although Bei Yi seems rebellious, he cares a lot about his family. He wants the students who are experiencing puberty to understand that freedom does not conflict with love. Wow, the bus stop sign hasn't changed at all. The friends are taking a walk after dinner and they realized that their alma mater was nearby, the three of them decide to go and visit their old teachers. This shop has been here since I was in school while well, the owner hasn't changed. I don't know the owner. I don't know him. And this corner store. Isn't there another shop next door? Yes, there's one next door. Wow, this is the route I took when I was student. Only in Giang would Zhoushan say a wow over and over without worries. This is the relaxation and sense of safety one can enjoy in the hometown. The trees have grown taller, but I haven't. I'm sorry. No, you were taller than you were in high school. There's really no difference. I can't save this one, can I? He wanted to make you feel better, but you wouldn't give him a chance. I always thought I was short until I met you guys. I knew you were going to attack me. Can I go in now? I don't know. Go on and try. Wow, you're so short. I'm in a disadvantageous position. Three, two, one. Let's do a horizontal one. Hello, everyone. I am your senior from many years ago, Zhou Shen. Out of surprise, the meeting with his teachers turned into a meet and greet with the students. This is where his dream began. This stage is where I participated in our school's top 10 singers contest. Now I'm back at my alma mater, back on this stage where my dreams began. I used to wear the same uniforms as you all are, and we also used the speakers that would make sharp feedback noise. Of course, I'm not complaining about our equipment, principal, but it's really not fit for singing. I don't know why we had the contest here back then. I don't really know what to say. Do you have any questions for me? When is your next concert tour? After your exams. I think after the pandemic is over. I will definitely come to Giyang as well. How can I be one of the first replies on your Weibo posts? Watch less TV, spend less time on your phone, and study harder, alright? How were your grades back then? How were my grades back then? I didn't hear that question. 
That was harsh. My grades definitely weren't bad. If they had been, I wouldn't have gotten into number six middle school. Everyone experiences periods of time where they feel like they've hit rock bottom. So I want to ask what passion or hobbies did you rely on to keep pursuing your dreams? I feel like we need some sort of motivation like that right now. Thank you. How do I explain it? I felt like I hit rock bottom in the first three years after my debut. Back then, I realized I was a singer, but I didn't have my own works. I didn't have a stage where I could sing more songs. I've even been on stages that you didn't even know existed, such as on the street. But now I can hold my own concerts. Everyone will have such kind of time. But how do you get past it? You create your own problems. Those problems and thoughts are really coming from yourself. Don't be afraid of hitting rock bottom. Everyone will be there. You have to accept yourself. As a singer, he has held numerous fan meetings. But the worries of his younger juniors are the most touching. Joshan had a lot to say today. Because answering them is like answering his 17-year-old self. I spent three amazing years of my youth at number six middle school. As long as we stay true to ourselves and keep working hard towards our passions, please believe me, your dreams will come true. I don't know if that's a life lesson and I'm not very successful right now, but I'm very happy doing what I like and working hard towards it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for knowing who I am. Thank you. There's a characteristic that I think all people of Gaying share. If someone says something that sounds like song lyrics while they're chatting, they'll sing it instead. Everyone loves singing out of nowhere. I even use some techniques in my songs that are like how the minority Chinese sing. Like when I was playing with them in Yelung Valley, I realized that the way they sing is similar to how I sing. I wondered if I've heard it when I was little. I might have forgotten, but it definitely has an impact on how I sing. These impacts are subconscious. You don't notice it sometimes. Giang is home to many Chinese minorities. Singing and dancing are the features of this city. In Giang's Gaupamung village, everyone is singing and dancing. A lot of the Miao people's old songs have lyrics about the migration of their ancestors. And their traditions and attitude towards life and death. Cave burials is the way that past generations dreamed of returning back to their hometowns after they passed away. At every festival, the clansmen will do a cave dance. They do the lushing dance and celebrate in the caves so that the deceased can feel the happiness of the living. The villages in Guizhou are like a hidden paradise. The Hmong village is passionate. The Dong village is gentle. The Dragon Boat Festival and time for selling Zongzi is here. Yen drove 300 kilometers to a Dong village to buy the sticky rice for making Zongzi. The Dong village is surrounded by mountains and lives off the water. There are many wooden buildings over 100 years old. It's quiet enough that you can hear sounds of bugs and birds singing, and it's an idyllic place for those from the city. The villagers only eat local sticky rice and believe that Xiangha sticky rice is the best in the world. Yi Yen started selling Zongzi to help the villagers sell their rice. Is this fresh? It's still warm. Doesn't it smell good? It smells great. This is harvested this year. For Guizhou women who are usually quite strong built, carrying rice is a small task. Let me see if I can lift 43 kilograms rice. You can. It's not that Yen is overly eager, but that her dad is getting older. She needs to train herself into the strongest laborer on the farm. I'm really getting stronger. Our brother Yang. My dad, I'm getting better at lifting rice, but my dad can't do it anymore. I also don't think your dad can anymore. How many days are there before the winter solstice festival is here? Probably another three months or so. Right, for you it's June 15th. June 15th of the lunar calendar. We definitely want to come this year, even if you don't let us, we still want to come. I'll tell you then. I'm taking this car, right? Let me sit down for a while. Sitting on the back of the grain truck, Yen looks around the village she is working with. 
like a general inspects his battlefield. Next to the green tractor. Good to go. Brother Wu, we brewed this out of Xianghe sticky rice, take it back and have a try. I soaked some Roxburg rose in it too that I made this last year, try it, thank you. After the work is done, drinking and singing dong songs are the real fun. For Yen, Selling rice isn't important. Dot. What's important is the relationships with the villagers and drinking together. What are you two doing here? What are you doing? Didn't we say we were going to film a TikTok video? At night, the cameraman drove Yen home who was tipsy. Here, she met her next joy. You two are great. Come here, young Aksayanya, sit here and look at me. Do it like this, here you are. Here you are. Here you are. You don't need to smile in the song. You need to sing it as if you've been beaten by life with a bit. A bit of sadness. It's get started. Look up and stand straight. Stomach in. They started filming TikTok videos to sell the farm goods, and they didn't have a lot of fans, but they didn't care. Whether or not they can sell the goods is not important, happiness is what matters. This song is for your old grandmother. That's really funny, no, you're really cute Yangya Aksayan, too cute, go get her back. Look up and you can see the edge of the helmet better. I can only see my bangs. We can see a cave far away. Two thirds of Guizhou is of the karst landform, which creates a kingdom of caves. There are a group of cave explorers in Gi'an who have learned professional mapping, climbing, scuba diving, and rafting in order to explore the caves. Today, they are taking Zhoushan to explore a natural solution cave in Gi'an. It's so cool. It's like going into an AC. It's 14 degrees Celsius. Brother Bao is going to lead us. We're going to climb up this mountain. Who made these stairs? The people who used to live here. While most people think it's scary and creepy, the cave is neither hot nor cold and provides a comforting silence. Okay, now look behind you. Caves were the original resting places for early humans. Walking inside one is like experiencing another human living space. Is this an animal? This is the thing you saw earlier. This is what you saw earlier. You mean the moth? Is it dead? After it dies, it turns into this. It's kind of like caterpillar fungus. There will be spores growing out of its body. It's so beautiful. It looks like... Like an art piece or crystal. Right, like crystal. It looks a bit terrifying, right? Right. But it's also beautiful. Be careful with your belongings. Don't worry. I'm so small that I don't need to grovel. Watch your head. Be careful, you're back. Okay, continue. The place we are at right now is a big underground lake. The echo is really good. Underneath is a shallow pool. We're going to cross it. 
Okay. Step over here. Or in the middle. This place is great for singing. I feel like they should film Tomb Raiders here. They'll come here for every series. There are a lot of caves that are a good fit. Don't step on there. Step into the water. Look, this water. It's murky from our steps. It looks like a sandstorm. It's so pretty. The dust moves really slow. Uh, uh. Singing in the heart of a mountain that's been there for thousands of years is an experience that you won't forget for life. It's such a big stone pillar. This is a large stalagmite. They're almost connected to each other. It might take another 100 or 200 years. Maybe more. It grows 2 to 3 centimeters every 100 years. I won't be able to see them connect in this life. Maybe not for several lifetimes. When you're in the cave, time passes really quickly. It doesn't feel like you have spent 3 or 4 hours inside. I found a lot of unimaginable things that took Mother Nature over several thousand or even tens of millions of years to create. I got shocked. They said something that I like a lot. They said, we're here to explore, not take risks. They've been exploring with the purpose of protecting this area. I saw that they took all the trash with them along the way. From our conversations, I could feel their passion for this job and their eagerness to protect this ecosystem. I think the saying, people who live in different places have different mindsets makes sense. Giyang is indeed a city with some many invaluable things. Most people don't really know Giyang, and some only have a vague impression. But I feel that whoever I know who has visited Giyang all left with a great impression. What we saw was just a tip of the iceberg. Giyang is an extremely fun and interesting place. The more you learn about this place, the more you'll be drawn to it. Everyone who lives here is documenting Giyang in their own way. From Waguoyan in the newer neighborhood of Giyang to the Nine Gates and Four Pavilions in the older area of Giyang, Lao Yang writes his blog in his dialect and documents the changes of this city. Chiao Er often visits villages and learns how to sew from the experienced seamstresses. The clothing and accessories of ethnic minorities she's gathered are enough to open a museum. At Miao's traditional festival, April 8th, everyone sings and dances to honor their ancestors and hope for a smooth and fruitful year. When you come to our Miao family, there are a few things for you to remember. Drink with big bowls. Eat big pieces of meat and eat big mouthfuls of the flour sticky rice. When he went to the Miao village for the long table banquet, Dai Gue, an organizer of Miao songs, brought his daughter along. He hopes that she can remember her identity and the traditions of Miao. The wine makes you feel dizzy, and it's sweet too, right? How come there's Biangdang wine throughout Guizhou? The sweet scent of wine from the long table banquet spreads all the way to the city. The peaceful small bars have spurred the trend of Chinese-style bars in Giyang. There are two reasons. First is Guizhou's geography and culture. Guizhou has a large range of land of the karst landform. The karst landform maintain an ample resource of microorganisms. This helps brew more flavor into the wine. The second is sticky rice. There are 17.5 kilograms of wine here. You can only leave after finishing it. But I feel like the alcoholic content of this wine is too low. This feels different from when you drink a Long Island iced tea. During our shooting in Giyang, we has met an happy and independent farm owner, Yi Yen who drinks so much wine and lifts so much rice. Let me filter you some wine made from this rice. Yi Yen brought out the rice wine she brewed herself. The happiness of the festival reached the top.
here, Miss Who, you make the toast. We has met someone who doesn't speak Giang dialect, but consider himself someone loves Giang the most, Bei Yi. This time, he wants to bring his life to see the 183 factory he grew up in. This used to be a veggie garden and where we played movies. Look at where they used to live. This place is historically significant in Giang's development as a third-tier city. These were the living quarters, the factory was over there. We heard Zhou Shen's beautiful voice deep inside the cave, and discovered that he's a foodie who can't stop talking about the specialties of Giang. We ate fish in sour soup, Lao Su's noodles, little tofu, and Changwang noodle. We climbed up tall mountains, went deep into caves, and talked about life, death, oceans, love, and freedom. We drank so much wine that we lost count of and met many interesting souls. We believe there has to be more interesting things hidden in the corners of this city. The interesting souls show us that you shouldn't wait. Just jump right into wine and right into life. You don't need a lot to live the way you want. <laughs>